good morning students today we will learn about the major instructional objectives in teaching of science so when we look into science we have to make the children to be aware of various kinds of fact so the first major instructional objectives are we have to provide the children with different kinds of knowledge what is knowledge when we try to learn about the different kinds of principles laws concept everything so uh, we have to provide the children about the knowledge of plants animals various types of microorganisms everything in science so through learning of science the child will be able to learn all the concepts in detail so by providing knowledge we are making them gain uh, very clear about the various types of things which they are going to learn as a in, in the subject of science the next instructional objective is helping them to learn the different types of skills what are skills skills are nothing but we have to make them train in specialized field take for example we have to make them learn how to handle an apparatus in the lab how to make the things perfect how to do a work how to draw a diagram everything is nothing but it is a skill practice is it not through science teaching we are able to make them learn about different kinds of skills the next uh, instruction objective is making them learn about the different kinds of develop their abilities abilities are nothing but their capacity you have to make the children realize what is their potential what is their uh, ability and make them produce new things with their own abilities and then the next one is development of attitude what is the scientific attitude we have to make the children analyze the problem find what is the cause of the problem and find out what are the ways i can solve the problem so through scientific attitude you have to have a, develop a keen observation take for example if you look into something you have to see what are even the minute details of everything so that is nothing but the development of the attitude and then we have to train the children in scientific method or reflective thinking what is scientific method take for example there is a difference between the way an educated person and a well trained person approach a problem and an uneducated person take for example when somebody is having a, a very cold or a fever we should not immediately think it is going to be a curse of the god or something like that. but we should find out what is the cause yes the person has taken any cold food or they have uh, gone out in a rainy season or what might be the reason for it so after finding what is the reason for a cause and we are trying to solve it in a scientific and a systematic way that is said to be the scientific method so through science teaching we have to train the children in scientific method or reflective thinking whatever we say they immediately they should not uh, accept it this is not they should see why what when how this happens any type of incident so they have to think about in a uh, extraordinary ways so that is a reflective thinking the next thing is developing their interest so you know through science teaching we can develop the interest among the children to draw to analyze to observe the things in the nature we have to uh, develop the varied interest among the children that's why they are able to involved in science learning okay then we have to develop a very good habits habit formation will not occur in one day so we have to train them learn different kinds of habits so then they are able to take for example they can collect uh, uh, plants uh, in the leisure time they can make a herbarium they can collect insects and other things okay that is a development of habits we have to develop the power of appreciation among the children so through science teaching we are making them to appreciate the nature take for example they should, uh, they should appreciate the beauty of the nature the beauty of the plants insects uh, all these uh, complications which are found in different kinds of plants and animals everything they have to learn and appreciate and providing a work for their leisure time you know what is a uh, leisure time for that is nothing but your hobbies gardening aquaculture or fisiculture just the growing of uh, yeah the breeding of uh, animals some plants then having a roof garden everything is nothing but uh, providing a work for your leisure time through science teaching you are inculcating the spirit of uh, making them to work for the leisure time and then helping them to train for a better living through science teaching you have to make them learn so that they lead a very good and a better life in future so we have to find out the ways we have to guide them what are the courses which they can select
better and to which they will have a better life take for example the school children in uh, many uh, many children they invent new things uh, many household items using some small science technologies everything so that is the training for a better living okay and then the last point is uh, forming a basis for their career and specialization so when the child learns science as a major subject uh, at the secondary level, high secondary level, you know, thereafter they will decide their career. It, it may be either medicine or any paramedical courses or anything like that. Based upon the study, they will decide which career they wanted to. And it becomes the area of their specialization in future. So these are the major instructional objectives of teaching science. What are they? Knowledge, skills, abilities, attitude, training and scientific method, developing their interest, habit, appreciation ability, Providing work for vision, training for better living, and forming the basis for their career or specialization. Okay, we clear? Yes, thank you.